What is up, y'all? This might be super windy because I am currently on my roof. I uh, ordered Starlink. That's the like, satellite internet that Elon Musk has offered. And I need to find some place to mount the dish type thing. I think I'm gonna go with right here. I just need to build a base plate to mount it so then it has a lot of access to that the sky where the satellites are but i had to come up here take some measurements let me put you guys down here the wind is winding then i'm gonna go down cut the piece of wood i think i'm gonna paint it already so i don't really need to paint it while it's up here and we'll screw it in bring up the base of the dish thing whatever it is mounts to we'll mount it and then we'll just bring up the dish and i gotta figure out where to run this wire for the time being let's go build this wait all right y'all I do not have any 2x12s or anything like that, and I got this lying around. This is what we're gonna do here. 284 is the center. <laughs> Quick little update of what we got here. We don't have a big enough piece of lumber to make this whole piece because this is, how tall is this? 15 inches. So I don't have anything that big. I don't want to buy anything that big. So we're going to do this. So this is the shape that we need for that piece to go on top of the roof. I'm going to get a piece of plywood, cut it out in the exact same shape and screw the plywood to this. Then I'll have one solid piece. We'll paint it real quick and then we will mount it on the roof. And hopefully these measurements are all good and it works out. Let's get to it. Got this bad boy painted. That's gonna be the base plate thing, whatever. I had this old dish thing that was mounted on the side of our roof and it was holding up like an old dish thing, literally like dish the company. Anyways, this is gonna mount here. That's gonna mount directly there. And then I'm gonna find some sort of metal plate that I could put here. And then I'm gonna mount this. So the Starlink will mount on top of that plate. I know it doesn't really make sense right now, but it will once I start putting stuff together. Let's go find a plate. All right, y'all, I found this big old piece of metal that I think I can use. I wanted to have 15 inches here and I got just over 14, like 14 and a 16th. But 15 was like being extra. It was like having an inch extra on either side. So with 14, I think it's about half inch extra on either side. So I think I can make that work. And then this way, we're gonna need 24, I believe. That for sure gives us an extra inch on either side. So this way we're good. So we're gonna get this cut up real quick, take it back over there, maybe clean it up a little bit, throw some paint on it, drill some holes and mount it on there and hopefully we can get this show on the road. Safety first, y'all. All right, y'all. We got our piece. I think I'm gonna sand this whole thing off, both sides, and then we'll uh, get some just like black paint on it or something.
All right, y'all. It's the next day. Or, actually, it's been a couple days. You might be wondering, Marlon, where's your voice? You lost it. Well, I might just insert a very embarrassing clip right now to explain where my voice went. <laughs> That was bad, wasn't it? Trust me, it felt even worse. Anyways, we're back after a unsuccessful fishing trip. And yeah, I'm just, I'm tired, I'm beat up, I feel like, but it's time to get back to work. So we got that plate all cleaned up here. I gotta drill out holes. I just put the bracket that we're gonna use against it like that so we can measure where to drill these holes. And now we gotta drill those holes out. I think what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna go up to the roof and I'm gonna bring this with me. So I wanna make sure that this fits perfectly on that little peak of the roof because i don't want to mount all of this up together yeah, bring it up to the roof and then it doesn't fit because then uh, and i gotta bring it back down i'd rather just take the one piece up because i know the rest of it will fit i'll see you on the roof so it fits which is good it's almost like i measured or something so that's what it's gonna look like we're gonna mount that other plate right here gonna come out go up a little bit gonna have that other flat plate and then the star link will mount to that let's go back down let's get it all mounted up and put it together Got a little update. We've got this mount that's gonna go on our wood piece. This is now mounted to our plate. And after that, I've marked off these corners, which is where this plate is gonna go, this mounting bracket or whatever. This is what came with the Starlink. And it's a really crappy design because it's just like so big. There's like nothing on a house nor that you would be able to mount this if you have like a tile roof like I do. Makita, I'm still not sponsored. Give your boy a call. This is so much heavier than I anticipated. There it is in all its glory. This is what it's gonna look like. Does it make sense now? I'm hoping this plate that I made kind of distributes that weight a little bit. Anyways, we'll, we'll find out here in five minutes. This works out. Ooh, it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like a spaceship or something. We're mounted. It's pretty solid. Do you think I want to go grab the satellite real quick and just mount it and run the wire down there and then I can do the other stuff inside and maybe I can get it working today, which would be cool. I'm going to go grab the satellite real quick and then let's, let's get internet. Oh, there it is. Star link. Link of the stars. Alright y'all, that's that. We got Starlink. <laughs> 